Cleo appeared lifeless as Ames firefighters rushed to help her breathe using a specialized oxygen mask for animals. All I could think at that point was just, come on, Cleo, like, we really don't want to lose you. After 30 minutes, a sign of hope. As time went on, the cat started to slowly come to, started to meow, started to breathe on its own, started to move around. So it was all positive indications that things were working well. Thankfully, firefighters rarely have to use the nine animal oxygen masks that were donated to their department nearly a decade ago. This is going to seal around the snout, and then we're going to hook up some uh, oxygen. A small, medium, and large mask for different sized animals. This was the size that was used on Cleo the cat. Cleo. Lieutenant Jordan Damhoff believes his co-workers actions are why Cleo was rushed to the Iowa State College of Veterinary Medicine still alive. Hi sweetheart. Today Cleo is still on oxygen in the intensive care unit but improving every day. She couldn't stand or walk, wasn't really aware of what was going on. I'm really thankful you can't even put it to words really what they did for us and save our cat. Veterinarians are hoping Cleo will be well enough to go home in a few days. Their pets become part of their family and so it's one of the most satisfying parts of our job is when we can uh, go to a scene and try and make the scene better.